Hi folks, Batmania777 here. Uh, as always, you may email me at any time at batmania777 at gmail.com. That's batmania777 at gmail.com. Had a recent pickup I uh, just wanted to share with you. It's a Hot Wheels set. It's the, uh, the Stormtrooper Captain uh, uh, Phasma set. Um, a number of the new Star Trek, Star Wars, Superman, Batman, Green Lantern, stuff that Hot Wheels has coming out I don't particularly care for. This set I like quite a bit. So let me light the room up here and show you one I found I really like. Um, on the my left your my left right here is the the Stormtrooper and you can see that is a neat, neat, neat car. It, from the front, it looks just like one of the Stormtrooper masks. Then their boss, who is known as Captain uh, Phasma, uh, his car would be right here, my left, your right. Um, really, really, really neat set. I'm gonna keep this one in my permanent collection. Uh, and in fact, I'm not going to unpackage it. But this one, if you go to your local hobby store, Walmart, Target, this one is worth picking up and it was only a few dollars i think i paid six maybe seven dollars for it but that this is a set where hot wheels did an absolutely outstanding job let me kind of show you from the top here outstanding job and then of course on the back they they they're marketing their uh uh their uh emperor uh, Palpatine versus Yoda. Don't particularly care for those, especially the short Yoda car. Don't think they did that great a job there. On the Darth Vader versus Princess Leia, also on the back. I think they did a pretty darn good job on that one. Uh, the Darth Vader looks a little bit like uh, one of the 500 versions of the Batmobile that's out there. But there you can see the, uh, the First Order Stormtrooper and Captain Phasma cars. I think they did an absolutely outstanding job on those. Um, then a couple pickups, I, I guess more than a couple, a few pickups I've had recently. I'm working on the 1934 through 1936 uh, Diamond Stars um, baseball card set. I'm going to do do that basically ungraded. If I find some graded cards worth throwing in, I will, but mostly an ungraded set. This is uh, number 50, 51, uh, John Whitehead. Looks nearly immaculate there. On the screen, um, it's it's got uh, real good surface. On the back, though, there's some issues. It looks like, uh, if you can see, kind of the circular round. Looks like someone could have put a coffee mug or something on it back in the 1930s or 40s, which is probably exactly what happened. Then one that's not nearly as good a set uh, a shape, but since I'm doing an ungraded set, I'm okay with that. I just want to get a complete set. It's the Jim Bottomley. This is card number 59. So card number 51 and card number 59 in the set. A couple other pickups out of a pack pull I, from Target I had recently. The uh, uh, rookie, Marcus Mariotta. A little bit of glare going on. Um, this is the, the Titan. Uh, the Titans, um, the quarterback, uh, formerly quarterback of Oregon. Probably send that off to... PSA and have it graded. Um, here's one that's up for grabs if you want to drop me an email, batmania777 at gmail.com. For any Steelers fans, I had this in a pack pull. This is, um, uh, it's, there's a little bit of surface wear, so it's not going to get a 10. So if you're looking to grade it for a 10, forget it. It's probably going to grade out at about an 8, but it's still a really nice card. LaVon Bell of the Pittsburgh Steelers, and it has authentic game used, uh, uh, authentic game used jersey right there. So, um, not a particularly rare card or valuable card, but if you're a Steelers fan, that's certainly one you might want to have in your collection. Just drop me an email and I'll be happy to send it to you for free. If there are any Indiana Pacers fans out there, one that I think will probably grade is a 10. I may have this sent off to PSA and have it graded if no one wants it, but it's a, uh, a Jamal Tinsley um, upper deck. Also, um, uh, where are we at here? Authentic jersey. This one's on the left side. The uh, LeVon Bell is on the right. So I'm getting a little confused there, but Pacers guard. Authentic uh, authentic game used uh, uh, jersey. And that's from a pack pull here in the last few weeks. Um, I'm a Steve Mix collector. Uh, one of the great 
ball players out of the University of Toledo. There are probably not that many Steve Mix collectors out there. I might be the only one for that matter, but um, I grew up around a, a gentleman who knew him, so he got me hooked on Mix at a young age. But this is a Steve Mix autograph, a little glare there, autograph and game used jersey. So Steve Mix was one of the uh, the great players in the 19 uh, the 1970s for the 76ers. Will never be in the Hall of Fame, but did play as a reserve in one All Star game. I think it was the 75 76 All Star game. It may have been the 74 75 All Star game. Um, and then finally, I I sent off for a some 34 through 36 Diamond Stars in on eBay, and the seller threw in for free. I'm not sure why, but I was happy to get it. Uh, 1953 Bowman, Bill Witt, W-I-G-H-T. Um, I don't have any 53 Bowmans in my collection, so I decided to go ahead and start an ungraded 53 Bowman, and this is going to be the first card. This is card number 100, so now I'm going to work on a 53 Bowman set just because seller threw, uh, uh, threw uh, a card in for free. Not necessarily one of the all-time great sets. I'm working right now on an SGC graded uh, 51 Bowman that has the true rookie uh, for uh, Mickey Mantle, um, the, probably the most desirable Mantle cards, the 52 tops. It's technically not his rookie year. That's his second year, whereas the uh, the 51 Bowman set I'm working on has his only true rookie. Um, and then the 52 Bowman set is also um, uh, basically artist renderings of real photos, as is the 51 set. But again, the 53 sets that first Bowman set that actually has a photo, a literal photograph. So um, I think uh, I can complete that set ungraded for relatively inexpensive and it'll, it'll look uh, pretty good in my collection. And then finally, finally in the Marcus Marietta uh, pack pull, there are four other cards in there. If anyone's really interested in them, please drop me a line. Uh, Matt Ryan, uh, Philip Rivers, and Alshon Jeffrey. Okay, folks, have a great week, and thanks for watching.